hello hello and welcome to my CNote Act tutorial um, today we are going to convert a standalone template to work with CNote Act um, I assume that you have installed a web server and um, uh, that you have a default um, uh, or that you have a template that you wish to convert to CNote Act uh, I have created this Darktivia template uh, and we can take a look and see how it looks like this here is how the template look like uh, you can see I have a logo I have a, nav a link menu and I have a place where I can have widgets to the right and the left and in the center we have the container where uh, uh, dynamic information is being put and a footer so very basic website and we are going to make this website here uh, to work with CNOTAC so um, let's have a look at how CNOTAC looks like now Uh, this here is a default template to CNOTE Act. So basically, we want to add all this functionality to uh, our Dark Tibia uh, website. So we can start by copying uh, this template into the CNOTE Act. You see, I have it installed in here. Um, I'm just going to paste it in here um, and here is the existing layout that we saw um, this here, this website here, all website related files are in this layout folder and we are going to replace this folder with this dark tibia so um you can just call this here for old layout and we will replace dark tibia and just name it layout now when i visit this here mm, you can see <laughs> there is no information being set there so and this is because um this layout here just does not support um, CNOTE Act at this moment, but that's what we're going to do now. Um, first of all, let's see how CNOTE Act uh, interacts with this layout. Uh, we can just open up this blank to PHP, it's small, so it's good. Uh, and we can see here that um, CNOTE Act first fetched the uh, engine or uh, initializing the CNOTE Act engine um, and then you see it includes uh, inside the layout folder uh, inside another folder called overall uh, header.php and it also includes footer.php so this is how it includes header.php that loads uh, uh, the beginning of the website until this dynamic contents, this content in the middle um, if I go back to dark TVO this here, it uh, loads everything until this here and then we write whatever comes here goes in the center and it loads the footer which is basically the rest of the website um, so we need to use similar structure, we need to have an overall folder we need to have a footer and a header um, so inside layout we can see there's nothing, let's open up this here and first thing we see here is that it's an HTML document um, we need to change this here to PHP uh, all the existing HTML code will work but we will also have additional access to the PHP code which is useful so 
I'm just gonna try to rename this to PHP, see if it allows me to do that. No, so I'm just gonna open this and I'm gonna save it as call it index and index.php save. So I just remove this here now. And now this here is index.php. So now we are allowed to use um, PHP code inside it. And CNOTAC is built on PHP, so that's essential. If you look at this website here and this here, um, you can see these links here are, uh, are these things here. Um, and we have uh, a div either called left, which is the left widget. Um, and we have the right widget panel. And we have the, this here is the main content, this here. And footer. So this is just a plain website uh, template. Um, now, um, to make things a lot easier, instead of messing around here to add widgets and such, we are going to separate th that functionality from this file. So we can start by, um, let's see here, this here is, let's create a folder where we can keep widgets. So we're just going to make an empty folder called widgets. And uh, you see this here is the repeater. That means I can repeat this div here to add uh, another box. So if I copy this and paste it, so now there are two of these, I save it. And I see how it looks like. You can see there are two widgets are now. Um, so we don't want to have this functionality in this file so we're just gonna take this here. I'm just gonna cut it out uh, create a comment and I'm gonna paste this here right into a new file just like that and I'm gonna save this inside widget and I'm gonna call it for default.php this is just because this is like the default box that comes with the template so don't actually need it but we're just gonna use it for testing purposes uh, and what we're now going to do here uh, if I save this here now and refresh, you can see there is no menu at all. Um, and what we're going to do now is we are going to make a new PHP file and this here is what we're going to call the left widgets. So we're going to open up PHP tags and just save it there and we're not going to store this in widgets but in layout and we're going to call it left widgets it might be hard to understand now but I'll show you some later for why I do this and you'll find it quite handy and in this left widgets panel I'm going to include this default widgets that we made or separated from the main template so I'm going to write include layout we have to specify the um, folder which always is layout widgets 
default.php. And now in index.php here, we are going to include left widgets. Um, and yeah, we have to fix that. Um, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna drop writing layout for now, so we can test this there while we build it. Uh, there, you can see. Uh, even though we do not have. Um, written the widget here we are including left widgets and the left widgets we are including default.php which is the widget this box over here and that's why it appears on this website so if i knew the power of having uh, a file for left widget is that it's very easy to read and you can very easily multiply it now i've included three times let's see what happens we have three boxes, so it's a very nice way to um, list uh, all widgets that we are going to create or convert. And we have to do the same thing with the right. Uh, as you see, the area is exactly the same as this, so here we don't need to reuse code, so we can just remove this and I'll just paste this here and I'm going to call this here for right widgets um, I also need to create the right widgets and I want to include widgets default.php I'm going to call this here for write widgets as a PHP and let's see everything seems to work fine so let's see if this actually is yes now we are fixed the functionality for the write widget menu and we should um, probably do it for these links as well so these here are the links and I'm just gonna copy away this comment this here to do create a new file I'm gonna call this here for um, links php and if we refresh now you see there are no links because we haven't included it as soon as we break into php and include links.php I refresh and there it appears now we have this now I can just take care I can um, change uh, links I can write um, HTTP google.com visit Google I say that and you can see it updated here on the web on this website click that and I get thrown to Google um, so now we have fixed the functionality for this so it's easy to change links easy to change right and left widgets and I could go on and make for um, uh, do the exact same thing for head and footer um, but um, 
I don't think I think I'm gonna try to make this error a bit quickly so gonna save this and still when we just go into CNOS back we see no templates because the overall folder um, I can just repeat this so you get it um, Uh, CNOTE ACK is trying to include layout overall header.php and layout overall footer.php. So we don't have that, so it doesn't find any layout to add. So let's just add a folder here. We call it overall. And what is this header and footer.php file? It's basically everything beside the main content. So I'll just take everything here I'm gonna remove it create new file uh, yeah you see I take this is a content where stuff um, this is um, things in the middle of the website that the dynamic co content that we want to have different depending on which page we are clicking on so everything above that is what we remove um, and paste in a new document and this is the header so inside the overall folder header.php and I can just remove oh, um, and then we should php include overall header.php and the same thing down here we remove everything here new file we paste it and instead of header we call this footer.php and we refer to footer.php here to include it and now we have this website there h1 title and a paragraph and do you see the similarity? If we uh, compare this here to uh, the blank.php, you see it's almost exactly the same. So this means the structure is fixed. And um, yeah, if we now visit Cinotech, hmm, it still does not recognize it, and that is because um, because um, yeah because we edit also inside the layout folder so layout layout same here layout and here every include also need to specify layout uh, that we want to enter the layout folder now when we refresh here it did not work <laughs> Blank PHP layout overall header. The header is in layout overall header. The PHP. This here works. We can see here. So apparently the widgets are added, but the design is not. So perhaps the CSS. Mm. So in this header we have um, 
uh, link ref style.css let's try to write layout forward slash style.css and there we go that worked pretty nicely um, the logo still seems to lack something so um, let's write layout images and there the logo is add use scene attack uh, to do display so now you see this cell seems to work if I now write register.php then it loads the register account uh, I can see there's some black text here um, which is basically because it's a bad CSS file that doesn't make all the text white but uh, I'm not gonna bother about styling this here much more than what it already is so um, now it is halfway integrated what we see that we are missing is the links and the proper widgets as well as a footer so now I'm just gonna go into um, this old layout and we can see this widgets here I'm just gonna copy every widget go into here and paste it in here and let's watch the character search and compare it to our default so we see here this is pretty this is pretty easy here is the content of the widgets while with our template everything between here is the content of the widget so I'm just gonna copy this and now I'm just gonna copy this here and I'm gonna update this and same here gonna make it semantically correct like that and character search let's add it to the left so instead of default I'm gonna write character search dot php and let's refresh this and we have character search test test does not exist I wonder which characters do exist um C note. No. Okay, well we'll find out soon enough. Uh now we fixed character search, so let's fix um high score at PHP. I'm gonna edit that and I'm going back to default to select what is not the content of the widget and I'm gonna replace the last div here with that and I'm going to do the same up here that fits the template replace that now I fix the high score and let's add that to the right so default high score.php save that and we have high scores and here are my characters so <laughs> obviously a lot could be improved here uh, when it comes to the design but that's your job um, and 
this example thing we can just remove this from my old template and log in gonna copy these lines replace the first and copy these lines and replace them there there I fixed login I'm gonna just select these two to fix them as well replace that and replace that We do it at the top and the bot. Just so this widget fits into the current template. Save nothing happens, but now Oh that looks ugly. But yeah. Um right widgets we wanna have um, we want to include Login PHP. And it crashed. User local Apache logs. And error. Probably called something wrong now. Header PHP line 12. Hmm. Time is 43. Character profile Let's just look at this here So this goes down here, tab that up, this goes there, this goes there, this goes there. happens if I comment that out then it works so something is wrong with login.php that may be because layout widgets login.php yeah that was a problem <laughs> forgot to write the correct path um, how did what widgets do I normally have so we have login character search high score and server info so I just include server info also also widgets server info dot php
and let's add it to the other side so instead of right widgets I'm gonna add it to the left widgets to balance the website a bit there <coughs> So now I can try to log in. Just got to remember the password. And there we go. Um, oh, we gotta fix these links. Uh, and then we enter links of PHP. Let's just close this here and compare it to. Old layout. Mm. I think I call it menu here. Yeah. QL. Like that. What happens now? There we go. So, no functionality wise, if I spam no. It is integrated to Synotec pretty easy actually um, all you have to remember you yeah, all you need to know about PHP is to include and remember to write the correct path and uh, yeah separate an HTML document into multiple files and change it over to PHP and make sure that you have the correct structure and yeah and let's fix the footer. And I think it's very important that we all um, that you have a proper footer. Um, or layout footer. Let's see. This paragraph. I'm gonna save that copy that and I'm going into layout overall footer because I haven't made a dedicated file for footer and I'm going to paste the paragraph in here if I save now we will have server date and clock and page generated in that was very buggy and that is because we have it tries to it does not accurately uh, generate page load this only increases so this can be done by figuring out where I stored it. Mm. Yeah, in um, in header.php in the default layout. So let's store that here as well. Um, Layouts, overall, header, and we add here PHP, and we just break out of here. It's here. What happens now? There, it's accurate again. So yeah, functionality works, but um, obviously a lot of um, design bugs which you have to fix to make the text um, that Synotec has um, work properly and such th these tables. But uh, yeah, this template is now integrated with Synotec and 
It works personality wise. And CSS templates is not the designer. Uh, template sample by CNOT. Um, for those of you who wish to create your own templates, um, I ask you to please give the credits for CNOT Acker at least so people know that this is an ep epic website. Okay, um, thanks for me. I hope you understood it. You do need minor knowledge in web development to understand it but yeah